This is the Seagate OneTouch SSD. It's also one of the prettiest SSDs I've seen. I typically wouldn't use the word aesthetic when it comes to describing SSDs, but here we are. And one thing about looking at these things online is how they always look bigger in pictures than they really are. This thing is tiny. Seagate officially calls it credit card small, but if we're just talking about its face area, it's actually even slightly shorter than a credit card. If we're talking about thickness, it's just slightly thicker than your smartphone. Here it is alongside some other objects to give you an idea of how small it actually is. The OneTouch SSD also weighs in ridiculously light, just under 50 grams. By the way, I am giving away one of these at the end of the video, so stick around. The signature trait of the OneTouch is probably this beautiful looking fabric finish on its front here. It's also really nice to touch, but I don't imagine it to be a lot of fun if I ever stain it though. This here is the white version, which is really a light gray. There's also a really cool looking black version as well. I also like how low key the branding is on this one. A nice little logo tab on the side of the SSD instead of being plastered all over the face. Something that I wish was a little different though is the USB port on the SSD. This is a micro USB 3.0 and I'm pretty sure that everyone would have preferred a USB type C. The port is also on the long side of the SSD, which is slightly unorthodox if you ask me, but not that it's an issue. And towards the right of that is a white LED status indicator. Now, how fast exactly is this SSD? If you look at their official numbers, Seagate is claiming speeds of up to 400 megabytes per second, but when I ran benchmarks on the SSD using Crystal Disk Mark, the numbers I got were even more generous. But then again, as any seasoned user would know, these are just benchmarks showing their peak sequential speeds. We all know it probably will not be able to stay at those speeds, especially for sustained read and write operations, such as copying large files. So that's exactly what I did for a more real life test. I copied a large video file just under 34 gigs to and from the OneTouch SSD, and for the real world usage test, the results were, well, a little more realistic. The 34 gigs of data finished transferring in just under five and a half minutes in my write test, and one second over six minutes in my read test. Now I probably should also add that the OneTouch is not Seagate's fastest offering when it comes to SSDs. They do have high performance ones like the Barracuda Fast SSD. If anything, the OneTouch is probably more of a more entry level option. Say if I was looking for an SSD for say, heavy video editing, then I'd probably take something like the Barracuda Fast when speed and stability are primary concerns. But if you're looking for an SSD for data storage, moving files around, or just media consumption, then the OneTouch might be a pretty good choice to consider. The OneTouch also brings quite some additional value to the table in terms of software. There's the Sync Plus utility that automatically and continuously backs up folders of your choice to the SSD as long as it's connected, which is essentially folder mirroring. But in some regions, this also comes with a free one-year subscription to Mylio Create, and also a free two-month license for Adobe Creative Cloud's photography plan. That's the one that comes with both Lightroom and Photoshop, so that's a pretty cool bonus for anyone getting the one touch. So before I end this review, let's talk about that giveaway. Thanks to the awesome people over at Seagate, I have a brand new 500 gigabyte one touch SSD in the stunning black version to give away to one lucky viewer. You can enter the giveaway using the link in the description and there's only a few simple things you need to do. First, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Second, share this video on Facebook and also follow Seagate on Instagram. This is their Instagram handle. And I'll announce the winner of this giveaway on the 1st of December over at my Instagram account, at Z Production. So you might wanna follow that as well in case you're not doing so already. And remember to enter using the link down below so you are included in the final draw and that's all there is to it. So I hope you enjoyed my review of the Seagate OneTouch SSD and good luck on the giveaway unless you are watching this after December 1st, 2020, which by then the giveaway would have ended. In that case, better luck next time. But before you go check out some of my other videos, it may or may not increase your chances of winning. Probably not, but you should still.